Hey people, welcome to Praying with Pastor M and today is day 5 of praying for your 2020. I'm almost sad <laughs> but the truth is that we will get to pray together a lot this year so it's still a good thing. Um, we've been praying for 4 days. If you've ever missed any of the episodes, I, I'd like you to go back and watch them because they all kind of flow into each other. Today we're praying about something very, very special. Um, funny thing is I tried to get a couple of people to guess <laughs> what we're praying about today but um, obviously they couldn't but this year the, today we're praying about something that the word that God gave us for this year at David's Christian Center we're praying all things are now ready I mean when I when God gave us that word last year I was so excited because towards the end of the year my husband shared it with me and um, I had a few personal revelations of my own about what God was going to do for the year. And um, it was just so beautiful. I remember having a vision of being in a room and there was this long banquet table. And I feel like Jesus was standing by the side and then he just drew off the, um, the tablecloth covering the plates. And he just said to me that all things are ready. This is the year of the unveiling. So this year, a lot of amazing things, like I said, over the couple of days we've been praying, a lot of amazing things are going to happen for you. Heavens are going to be open over you. New things are going to happen. You're going to walk in clarity. There'll be light. There'll be vision. You will not stumble in this year. You will not struggle with this year. Before anything happens, God will tell you. It'll just be such an amazing year. God will fight for you. It's just going to be a beautiful year. Um, but... When God gave us this word, all things are now ready, it occurred to me that some, sometimes we shout about some scriptures but we don't know the depth. So I'm going to first of all read where God gave us the word from. I'm going to share a few things and we're going to pray. Um, because I really want you to get your all things. I want you to get your all things. I don't want it to be just one of those years where you get the word and you jump and dance and all of that. I really, really do want you to get your all things. Because one of the things God said to me when the tablecloth was removed was that this year would be a year of restoration. So every word that had been given to the house um, for the last 15 years were going to be merged into one year. Isn't that amazing? So the blessings of 15 years were going to get one year. And God said to me that this would be a year of rest. It would be a, a year of recompense. So the things, even years you felt, oh, the word was given for this year and I didn't participate. I didn't have a testimony. God is saying this year I'm going to put it all together. And I'm going to bless you. You know, just such an amazing God, the kind of God that says everywhere you turn, it will be a blessing. So it's a good year. But let me read that scripture to you. So I'll read from Luke 14 and I'll read verse 16. And I'll share a few things that I think may make you miss out on what this year's um, word is if you're not careful. So I'll just quickly throw that in there before we pray. Um, so it says verse 16 and I'll read the New King James Version. It says, then he said to him, a certain man gave a great supper and invited many. And he sent his servant at supper time to say to those who were invited, Come, for all things are now ready. But they all with one accord began to make excuses. So that's one of the things that will keep a lot of people from getting blessed this year. Don't be one of those people that make excuses. Don't think you're not good enough. Don't think you've sinned too much. Don't think in your family it doesn't happen. This has never happened. Remember I said this year will be a year of new things. So even if it's never happened in your family, you will be the first. If you've never experienced that kind of favor before, you will be the first, okay? And it says, the first said to him, I have bought a piece of ground and I must go and see it. I ask you to have me excused. And another said, I have bought five yoke of oxen and I am going to test them. I ask you to have me excused. It says, still another said, I have married a wife and therefore I cannot come. Now, the funny thing is, another thing that will happen a lot this year is people will be distracted by the blessings that God will send. It's going to be a good year, like I said. It's going to be a buffet of blessings. So it'll be one blessing after the other. And some people are going to get tired of being blessed. Not consciously. It's going to be something that will happen unconsciously. So what will happen is they will get one, two, three blessings. And then they will be satisfied and get distracted by it. Not knowing that God has more. Okay? And it says, so that servant came and reported these things to his master. Then the master of the house, being angry, said to his servant, Go out quickly into the streets and lanes of the city and bring in here the poor and the maimed and the lame and the blind. The truth is, if you think you're exempt, God has a plan for you. You feel like you're not making progress. God has a plan to bless you this year. You think you're undeserving of it. 
God has a plan to bless you. You feel like you've been stagnant. God has a plan for you. His word to you is all things are now ready. He said, go and get them. And the servant said, Master, it is done as you commanded and still there is room. So this year, no matter who gets blessed, you are still going to get blessed. There's room for you to be blessed. No matter who gets married, there's room for you to be married. No matter who has babies, there's room for you to have babies. It's just going to be such an amazing year. He says, all things are now ready. Then the master said to the servant, go out into the highways and the hedges and compel them to come that my house may be filled. Listen, whether you like it or not, the banquet is already ready. All things are now ready. The only thing you need to do is show up at the table. Okay? So we're going to pray. I'm going to declare that this year, all things are now ready for me. I will not be missing. I will be at that table. Everything that God has promised me, I'm going to get this year. Because all things are now ready. As you pray about that, I need to meditate on what your all things are. What you think your all things are. Whether it's a job, whether it's a marriage, whether it's babies, whether it's promotion, whether it's a car, whether it's a material blessing, a house, properties, business, whatever your all things are. I need you to know they are now ready. This is the time to collect them. So we're going to pray. And by faith, you're going to receive everything God has for you. Like I said, it's already ready. God is not beginning to create them. All things are now ready. Okay? He has given to us all things that pertain to life and godliness. If it pertains to life, God has prepared it. Okay? So it's already ready for you. So what we're going to do now is we're going to just receive it. We're going to do what the Bible says. We're going to lambano it. You're going to take it. It's already ready. You're just going to go there and serve yourself it's a buffet kind of year whatever you want just serve yourself so we're going to pray and i always advocate if you have a prayer language if you pray in tongues please use your prayer language confuse satan he doesn't understand you so pray in tongues as often as you can pray in your understanding as well just like apostle paul said i pray in tongues i pray in my understanding which is so important so we're going to pray today you're going to pray in the name of jesus okay you're going to say father i declare that all things are ready for me I'm going to come and sit at that table because all things are ready. So let's pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I declare that in 2020, all things are now ready for me. Not some things, all things. Whatever it is that I need, this year is ready for me. I walk in divine health. All material blessings are mine. I receive my house. I receive my new car. My 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 friend's babies. Male Kebosha. If you're trusting God for a child, please declare by yourself that you receive babies. Male Kebosha. Marriage is on every side. My children are not going to struggle this year. Academically, they will do us amazingly well. They will not be sick. I will not waste my money in hospitals. All things are ready for me. This year, I receive my all things. Ah, Lego Kosha. Relevance in ministry. My all things are ready. My husband has relevance. Leke de Boshata. He enters nations. Maleke Bahadosa. Leke Boshata. Maleke de there's peace in my home. Maleke de Shikala Bohosa. Taliane Gede. I prosper in every currency. My all things. My church grows. We have influence. We attract more into the body. Ah, Kala da Kish de Nemosa. More laborers are sent to us. Leke Shatali Abahanda Kedish Tabosa. Leke Keza. In the name of Jesus, I declare. 2020 all things are now ready for me as we're going to still we're still praying don't get tired of praying like i said this year it's going to be a year of intercession okay we're not going to get tired of praying we're going to pray um so we're going to read mark 9 23 and bible says that and jesus said to him if you are able he said all things are possible for the one who believes so the man asked jesus if you are able to heal me and jesus said if you are able like just saying are you kidding me are you joking <laughs> he says all things are possible for the one who believes so as far as you believe it your all things are possible we're going to declare father i believe i know that it's it may seem crazy some of the things god will ask you to believe this year but you're going to say father i believe and if you don't believe you say father help my own belief and say i believe this year all things are possible for me even the things my mind cannot grasp now all things are possible open your mouth and pray for yourself say i believe i believe therefore i declare that all things are possible for me in the name of jesus all things are possible for me all things in the name of jesus we're still praying and we're going to pray with hebrews 2 verse 8 the new living translation and we're going to pray towards the b section it says now, when it says all things, because I know some people are asking, what are these all things? And, and I love God. I love the way he, he's so articulate 
okay his word is just so beautiful if his word opens up to you be amazed at how your life will turn out because the truth is at the beginning of the year when i when i heard all things are now ready i had to sit and ask myself what are the all things what exactly is on the table for me this year and this is what he said to me he says now when it says all things remember i'm reading hebrews 2 verse 8 the new living translation it says now when it says all things it means nothing is left out ha hallelujah do you understand that nothing is left out of the all things this year if you can dream it you can get it if you can save yourself you can get it this year is an eat all you can kind of year you know when you get go to buffets the size of your plate hey kalabosha determines what you take so if you take a, a saucer and a teaspoon you can't get much food for some of us this year <laughs> we're coming with trailer loads and tanker loads we're taking it all because we're not scared he says no matter who takes he says there's still more they call the lame the blind the beg if they said after everyone had taken there was still more room so there's still more room for blessings and he says when he says all things it means nothing is left out so remember we made a list of the 20 20 new things so you're going to include that into the list that all these things, all these new things I'm trusting God for, they're going to happen for me this year. As we want to pray, nothing is left out. This year, I'm going to have a complete blessing, the complete package. Nothing will be missing for me this year. In the name of Jesus. See, I'm not scared. You know why? The Bible tells me in John 17 verse 10, that Jesus said, and all things that are mine are yours. I am joined heirs. He's my brother. Do you understand? Everything Jesus has is mine. And he doesn't need it. He doesn't live on this earth. He doesn't need it. Okay? So he doesn't need a car. If you need a brand new car, you can have it. He doesn't need babies. He's got babies. If you need one, you can grab one or grab ten, as many as you want. My God is into multiple blessings this year. He says, all that he has is mine. All that he has is mine. And we're going to declare. Ah, all my all things. I'm getting all my all things this year. No carryover blessings. Okay? Everything. Nothing is left out in the name of Jesus. I declare I'm getting my all things in the name of Jesus. Second Peter 1 verse 3. And it says, as his divine power has given to us all things that pertain to life, and godliness listen if it pertains to life god has given it to you it's available to you so if it's a house a house pertains to life where are you going to live children pertain to life who's going to carry on your name um health pertains to life if you don't have your health you're going to die if you don't have a great body i mean you're not going to be able to live on this earth that's the only thing that keeps you here that's the only thing that there's your legitimacy on the earth is that you have a body if not you're going to be a spirit and it's illegal for a spirit to be here without a body so everything you need, money, money pertains to life. You need to pay bills. So everything that pertains to life, God has already made up. He said he has given us, not he will give us. I need to look at that scripture well. That's why your eyes need to be open. That's why he needs to open the word to you this year. It says his divine power has given to us all things. So that means it's already available, which means it is already ready. Malikesh, that tabosa. And it says to the knowledge of him who called us by his glory and virtue. Everything is already available. So we're going to declare everything that pertains to life for me. Everything that pertains to life. My marriage pertains to life, so it must be sweet. My husband pertains to life, so we must be happy. Declare over yourself all things that pertain to life are already mine. So my eyes are open to see them. In the name of Jesus. We're going to pray Philippians 4.13. It's a common scripture. It says, I can do all things. I can do all things through Christ who strengthens me. So this year, you will do new things, but you will do great things. So the things that you're scared, or things you've been scared of doing, this is the year. You can do it all. Because all things are now ready. So you've been wanting to learn how to drive. This is that year. You've been wanting to get into that new business. This is that year. You've been wanting to own a house. This is that year. You've been wanting to buy land. This is that year. You're wanting to start a business. This is that year where you can do all things. Because all things are now ready for you. So I need you to release your faith and declare that I can do all things 
through Christ who strengthens me. I'm strengthened by Christ. I can do all things. I'm not going to struggle this year. I can do all things. I can write those books. Ah, Lekesha, Paka, do Satali, Adegede, can start that business. Mande, Kisa, Kalu, Dosha, I can get that degree. Mande, Beke, Tusha, Kala, Be, Adegede, Laka, do Sakali, Adegede, I can get that certification. Manza, Bragalushta, Nani, Agaleza, Oh, Malebra, Hale, Kedish, Demosa, I can start that relationship and get married. Male, Kedesha, you can have that baby. Maso, Tori, Aba, Halushta, Inka, Zotori, Aba, Ni, Kedesha, Tagari, Anosa. Listen, you can do all things this year because all things are now ready i need you to understand that in the name of jesus finally finally we're going to pray with romans 8 28 one of my favorite scriptures it says and we know we know we are sure we are confident without a shadow of a doubt we know that all things work together for good to those who love god to those who are the called according to his purpose. So you need to ask yourself this year, do you love God? If you do, then all things are going to work for your good. Not some things, all things. You know why? Because all things are now ready. So you're going to declare that all things work together for my good. All things work together for my good. I need to use your mouth. Like I said, a closed mouth will close destiny. You need to open your mouth and begin to speak. The Bible says that life and death are in the power of the tongue. What you say is what you have. The Bible says you will have what you say. If you say nothing, you have nothing. If you declare what your all things are, no matter how many they are, God will make it happen for you. Declare all things are now ready for me. All things work together for my good. In the name of Jesus. I need you to open your mouth and speak. You used to speak. Declare that all things. Even when you make mistakes, they still work together for your good. There will be no coincidences this year. Only divine incidences. Man de bosha. When you make mistakes, God will make it a miracle. Even your mess will become a message. Every test and trial you go through will become a testimony this year. Even when they plan evil for you. Malika Brahan de Koza. Bible says that Joshua told his brothers that you meant it for evil, but my God planned it for good that he may save you people. Ah, Get ready. God is going to do good things for you this year. Ah, le badosa. No good thing will you withhold for you. He says all things means nothing is left out. Nothing is left out. In the name of Jesus. I need you to understand that when God makes a promise, he keeps it. He's the God who can be trusted. I've seen him. Oh, I can't even say how many times God has just shown up and over, in fact, outdone himself on my behalf. I'll share a quick testimony and then I'll just be out of your faces. So one of the reasons why I'm so emphatic about you speaking this year is that one of the things God said to me is that while you are yet I will answer you this year. And, you know, sometimes, even though you believe God, you may still, at the back of your mind, have it that, mm, this may be a bit far-fetched, Lord. Maybe we should negotiate, don't, you know. But this year, it might look like a simple testimony, but for me, it was such a big deal because it shows me that God listens even to the tiny details. So, um, at some point early in the year, my phone was ringing, and I'm such an Apple person. I love every Apple product, and I'm a gadget. I love gadgets. I'm a gadget person. And so I was just saying to myself, my phone was ringing and all my Apple products are connected to my iPod, my iPhone, my MacBook, everything's connected. And so everything was ringing at the same time. I just said to myself, oh my God, it seems like the only thing missing um, is an iPad. And I had the Apple Pencil, but I didn't have the iPad. And so I was just saying to myself, seems like that's the only thing missing. And I said, oh, I'm going to buy it. Then I, something rose up on the inside of me, and I believe it's the Spirit of God. And he said to me, why will you buy it? All things are ready for you. So right now, this year, all you need to do is get to that table and take it. So I said, I receive an iPad, and I receive an iPad Pro. I was pushing it because I knew, I mean, I was like, I don't want to waste money this year, but I, I really just wanted it. Not even for any reason, because I could, I could survive with my phone. I could survive with my, I mean, this is the year where God is pouring wine off mountains, not gin, wine. So my God is extravagant. He just wants to show off and bless me this year. As well as just saying it, I had not even finished thinking the thought and I mentioned it to no one. 
two days after someone comes to my house and i'm like oh, i hear oh there's some people who came to see me i'm like oh their family i love i said oh i'm just going to go and say hello it's just me a few minutes and i came down and my husband just hands me an ipad pro i'm like i don't understand he said oh he just felt like to buy me an ipad pro why did i ask you for an ipad he just he was just smiling sheepishly and i felt it was confirmation of the fact that god just wanted to show me that i love you and i just want to show off with you i just want to show the world that you are mildred that i love the mildred i am pleased with so after that i was like okay so i want to upgrade my um my airpods i'm like oh there's an airpod pro right now so since we're going pro we might as well macbook pro ipad pro i was just saying when someone sends me a message says oh person you blessed me so much last year i just want to bless you but I really want to get you what you want. So I'm like, oh, I'm not really like that. You can buy anything. She said, no, I want to get you what you want. So I sent her a message and said, okay, um, the only thing I can think of, you know, is the AirPod Pro. But if it's expensive, she says, say no more, it's done. So it's coming to me this evening. And I'm just like, what a God. What a God. You know, it's a God that just wants to flex. So this year, don't keep your mouth closed. My sister was sharing with me a testimony about how... Um, someone very close to her was you know was talking to someone and said oh I, I saw this piece of land and I like it would you buy for me jokingly and the person said oh of course no problem I'm saying land not tissue paper land is meaning on me and thus just by saying it so the Bible says you will have what you say so if you say nothing you will get nothing but this year all things are now ready for you and I'm very confident that all things will work together for you Father in the name of Jesus I pray for every everyone who's been a part of praying with me for the last five days. I declare this year will be a year of clarity, vision, light, new things, new opportunities, new experiences, open heavens, that you will fight for them. And above all, that all things will now be ready for them in the name of Jesus. They will recognize what these all things are and they will bask in the beauty of your goodness. Thank you, Heavenly Father. We receive wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of you because as we keep our eyes on you, we will not sink in 2020. Thank you because it's going to be a beautiful year. We declare that all things are now ready in Jesus' name. So it's been an amazing five days praying with you. Um, next month, we're going to start another prayer. So I'll let you know. Um, probably be scrolling down here what the prayer will be. But please get your friends, get everyone you know. This year is going to be an amazing year. And I think you need to put some prayer deposits. Remember, when you put prayer deposits down, you reap processed harvest. God bless you. Love you guys. Bye. Hey, people. Thank you for watching and listening to Pastor Mildred. I really hope you've been blessed. Please don't forget to share and hit the subscribe button. Also, you see that tiny bell on your screen? Please hit it to get notified when there's fresh content out. God bless you.